I didn't want him to be a novelty. I didn't want him to be something where people just said, oh my gosh, look at that. He's so different. He's just a family dog. He goes straight from neck to back, fused from right here all the way to the middle of his back. Cooper was pitched out into the wilderness and Cooper was just a baby wandering in the woods. Animal control contacted the rescue right away. He must have short spine syndrome. And I said, it's another foster dog. Sign me up. That's it. We're good. When we first met him, it was, okay, now what do we do medically? So I picked him up and he was little, skinny, and he whirlwind through our house. Every turn was a really big surprise. He would get neutered and we'd end up in the emergency room. He was playing and jumped and he fractured his neck. Take your meds. It was slow and go getting him healthy and strong. There were two speeds to Cooper, 100 miles an hour playtime, and absolutely just zonked out. He melted into being a really good home dog. He was just meant for this and those months in the woods were a time he just doesn't remember. milestone was like a big party in this house. He would jump on the couch and I would send him pictures at work. Like, look what I got on the couch! Doing stairs was a big deal. Come on, Betty, let's go. When he's on his side, he can't get up very easily, so he would panic. We worked with him. Good job. Now he does it seamlessly on his own. Six months in, we put him up for adoption. And I went to Andy and I was like, we are going to be flooded with applications. And crickets. Nobody wanted to adopt Cooper. And then we got an applicant. I think I broke down every other hour. I was like, Andy, I don't know what we're gonna do. I couldn't imagine just handing him over and saying, okay, now be Cooper's family. And I was like, that's it, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> our other rescues, there was no getting to know you period. It was a family from the beginning. Even with Skylar, the queen bee around here, he took over her bed and she was like, yep, that's fine. And I was like, what's happening here? Waylon has no idea he's a big dog and he's just so scared of Cooper's like, I'll show you. We're not gonna be scared of anything. Tuva, she's from the same rescue. They learn from each other. He knows exactly what each dog needs from him. He kind of has an old soul in that way. I've been fostering for years. I love finding families. I love when you've helped complete what this family was looking for. Cooper is what completed this family. He was that final piece. He's just everybody's best friend. How inspirational it is for him to not take anything that happened to him and just be happy. It's just been so much fun watching him grow and become part of this family.